Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for pushing out love, even though sometimes you might get negativity pushed back on you. Stop it at a halt because you know you ain't got time for that. <laughs> so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already. Please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell, bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. There goes my cat. Um, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacts your life and heading towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just, you know, good information that you would love to share with a fellow empath or especially somebody who's going through some hard times right now and just need that validation, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share also on your social media favorites as well, wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for stopping by my, cha my channel and showing so much love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And y'all, like I said before, um, for the next couple of weeks, I will be going ahead and posting up my daughter's website. Uh, she's looking for donations. If you can help any kind of way, even if it's like two dollars, it's all greatly appreciated. Uh, she's trying to get her book book published. Um, for her uh, poetry and all her drawings that she's collaborated with different poets and artists that they're trying to get out so if you can help out in any kind of way it's greatly appreciated and today this beautiful meditation that i'm listening to today is called oops synchronize your energy higher self meditation connect to the universe spiritual healing music and i will post that link in the description box below i'm really loving the meditation music i've been picking out today i usually pick you know love meditation music i pick out anyway and you know i always like if i'm on one-on-one -on -one with people i always try to send them you know daily meditations you've got to use it every day but if you're going through stuff or whatever which we we usually do you know i always try to give people meditation music even if, if it's for five or ten minutes you know the minimum is 30 you know if you can go for an hour hey that's good too you know you can do on a daily basis you know because we, we pick up so much energy throughout the day and it's really crazy at times so you know we really need to have that and today my video is about Twin Flame 101, go with the flow. Hey, Ocas, go with the flow on the changes. Like, prime example for me today. I'm just like, you know, I try to exercise every day. Try to get at least about 80 to 90 minutes out and do, like, you know, if I can do a 10-mile walk, I try to do a 10-mile walk. If I can do an 8-mile walk, I try to do an 8-mile walk. But I'm frustrated because I'm like, oh, I didn't get to exercise again today. But I did my 8-mile walk this morning which really made me feel good because it was like a down night last night. I was just really going through it or whatever. And I was just like, man, I got to go pick my daughter up from work. So I'm not going to have a chance to work out. But I was just like, if we don't come home, because usually when she gets off, I give her an hour to herself and then we watch movies together. Because, you know, I, I try to cherish as much time. You know, my daughter's 18 years old and she'll be out the house. So I try to get as much mommy daughter time as I possibly can with her. So it's just like, okay, if I don't get it, you know, before I, before I go pick her up, which is in the next, like, 30 minutes, um, I'll just try to do it when I come back if we don't watch movies right away. So it's just like you have to go with the flow on things. You can't force yourself to do things. You know, if it's positive and you know you're down in the dumps, yes, that's the best thing to do. You don't want to be wallowing in your sorrow all the time because it's like we're going through this push and pull thing. So, you know, if you can try to get yourself out of that, you know, that dark time because it's not really good to stay there, especially with us. We carry up so much energy and it's not even funny like you can be happy one minute and frustrated in the next and it's just like i got frustrated with myself because i gained a couple pounds since i stopped smoking so you know all of a sudden i stopped picking up cigarettes and you know smoking weed all the time so i started drinking like pepsi and eating kit kats and eating uh what is that haribo star mix uh goon bears and, you know, I picked up a couple of pounds. It's like, God, dog, when I was smoking, you know, and I was stressed out, I'd just pick up a cigarette. So I wasn't trying to eat. But now since I don't smoke no more, my bad habit is, like, emotionally eating. And I'm just like, uh-uh, you can't do that. And you know you're going to be big as a house. You don't want to do that. It's not healthy. 
So now it's just like I'm trying to get this weight off. And I'm not really big, but, you know, it's just like I'm not really wanting to be where I'm not comfortable in my own skin right now. So it's like I'm working on myself, but, you know, everything happens for a reason. You have to go through with the flow. You know, there's sometimes we force ourselves to be in a certain, like, criteria or whatever. And you should never compare yourself to the next person. That's not good because that person is that person and you're, you're you. So you go through all these different things and, you know, you get frustrated with yourselves. You know, you might be trying to get through th some things right now so you can be in your utopia but you can't get mad about certain stuff like that because you know divine source you'll hear it sometimes and i even hear it you know you're on the right path you're doing your thing you know i'm pushing out my videos giving people the best advice i can possibly give you know trying to give myself is that too as well you know because we're you know no not every day is perfect i try to keep it real with y'all there's days i'm not good you know, there's times that I've, I felt like, okay, I'm going to get out of this rut. I'm going to go ahead and do some videos because those are outlets for me. But if I'm in that funky mood, I'm not going to put that out because it's like I've done that before. And people can pick up on it real quick, especially if you're an empath. You can tell when something's heavy. You're like, ugh. You know, like where my friend Avery, he'll know. He's like, oh, Rosalind, your, 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 your energy is really heavy right now. I was like, oh, my ADD done kicked in and I'm just running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And I've done that. And he was like, oh my God, girl, slow down. <laughs> you know, I can feel you right here. I can feel you. So it's just crazy. I'm like, God, dog, I can't even do nothing, you know, doing it the way I'm doing it because people pick up on it even when I'm not talking to them. So it gets frustrating at times, but you know, people care about you. They, you want to make sure you're okay, you know, because even there's times that Especially if people are new and in, coming into this where it's like now sources having me come out to my friends and I mean that's very uncomfortable they had me stepping out to my comfort zone because this is some things I just really don't want to discuss with people I went to school with you know things are the way they are and it's just like you know they were so happy I was able to pick up on the things that they were going through some of them it kind of freaked them out because especially if it has something to do with deaf loved ones and I'm telling them exactly what's going on and they know there's no way possible I know about these things because I never talk to these people. You know, it kind of creep them out like, God, dog, you know, <laughs> she's the real deal. Holyfield, I'm like, yeah, I don't play around with people's sadness. I don't do that. If their energy is that powerful, I'm able to tap into that and just let them know the things that they've been wanting to tell you themselves. But you probably either think, you know, you're probably going through something at that time where the messages come in and they can't get filtered out right so you don't get them. Or, you know, you're just going through something that's so heavy they can't get those messages in because it gets blocked out by sadness and stress that's happened to me as well so you know you're going through things and knowing you have to go through everything for a reason you know sometimes it can be aggravating but as long as you know especially if it's something sad you don't want to stay in a sad place because i mean it's just blocking you from your blessings you know i get aggravated myself i'm like why do i gotta constantly keep going through this and i end up going through it but then the next day you know i said i refused to be this way i was like this yesterday i'm not gonna do this you know because i can go to my friend and be talking about all this stuff and they're like well awesome, but just listen you're, you gotta go through it. i'm like no doubt it you know and then i have to apologize the next day and they're like you know what you don't have anybody to vent to you have went through a lot of stuff you know, so it, it's okay for you to be able to say this. You know, if you have a good friend you can trust and just let them know the things you're going through, that's fine. That's a blessing because it's just like, especially if you've been through so much trauma, it's kind of hard for you to talk about things, especially if you didn't have that moral support there. And it's just a blessing that I have a few people that I can actually run to and tell me things to that I can trust and there won't be any judgment. It's like when people come to me, I don't judge you. As long as I said the main thing that I, you know, I've had people tell me a lot of things, and I mean, didn't judge them. Only thing I tell them, if you're going to come up talking about you don't know, injure some children or sexually molested a child or don't hurt some elderly, I ain't got time. I don't even want to hear it. You know, so long as it ain't them two things, we're good. I'm not going to judge you because everybody got a past. You know, the Chester, Chester, child molester, I ain't got time for all that stuff. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> you're going to pull up something I don't even like. No, so, you know, anytime you go through things, you go through things. But don't force yourself, like if you're still grieving about a certain situation you went through that traumatized you as a child, that you're still trying to heal from, all those things are not going to happen overnight. It takes time to go through things like that. I get frustrated when I, went, when I go through my things and I can't, you know, I'm healing from it. 
but I tell people don't hate the people that did that, you know, because that's still giving them power. I don't hate them, like my family that did this stuff to me, but it's still a hard pill to swallow on certain things that they've done. So I'm still, I can't say I fully forgive them when I'm still going through my changes. You know, I don't go out my way to say anything to them. I don't wish nothing bad on them. I don't do that because, you know, when you have done something so gutter butt bad to somebody, and you just haven't it ain't caught up with you yet, trust and believe. When it finally do, it's going to hit you like a <laughs> hit you like a mat truck. So that's why I just don't wish nothing bad on nobody because when things finally do hit them, they're going to know why it happened. You know, so, you know, I just have to pray for them. Pray for anybody who has put you through some things and let God and universe deal with that. You ain't got to, you know, don't be trying to take, you know, things into your own hands. That's when stuff messed up and you end up catching it in the bad, in, you know, in the long way. So just know that everything happens for a reason. You got to go with the flow. Don't force anything, you know, unless it's like you being in a depression and you've been there for a while, that has to get out. You know, you can't be stuck in a situation like that. Cry, get your kumbaya yas out, get your little wusa, and go. You need to, everybody deserves to be happy and you, you deserve your moment of shine. So go ahead and get through it. And you'll get to it. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content in this video. I love y'all so much. Y'all send me so much love and I'm sending it right back. You know, it's just good when I can send you those validations to know you're not crazy. You're not going through these things on your own. And you're definitely not the only person going through it either because we all got to go through these things for us to be able to heal and feel good and knowing we deserve happiness. Everybody does. So I hope you are able to have a blessed week. I'm sending so many blessings out to y'all. I pray for y'all each and every day. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. My post notification shout out goes to. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Ollie P1. Uh, Donna Hardy. And uh, let me just put Lewis Johnson. Much love to you. And I will talk to y'all later. And hope you have a blessed day. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And as I do the same for you as well. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. And be wild.